Hello everyone, and welcome back, finally, to the last episode of Kirby's Dream Land for Random Game Weekend. We made it, we did, we finished off the second half of the game, and now we're in DDD's lair. And in order to get to DDD, we actually have to go through a boss rush. So I'm going to go through the bosses in order, just as we saw them, since now it's been a couple days since, <laughs> a couple days since we saw them last. And, uh, or at least for some of them. Some of them it's been a couple days, others it's been like, depending on when you watch it, like a couple hours. But in order to do these uh, boss battles, we need to find the door, which is generally not too far, and then we need to find this Kirby, which will de uh, destroy the Gordo that's in front of the door. So let's get down here and defeat Wispy Woods. Um, Wispy Woods is like the most common Kirby boss of all time, and I almost got hit by one of his apples, which would have been really sad. I think the only time I would accept that is in, like, the new uh, Kirby Return to Dreamland, where, like, he gets super angry and um, gets really large. <laughs> where, because I don't think I've actually played that one too much. Um, or even, uh, I would accept, oh, Jesus, can't, I can never get rid of those masks it's quick enough. Or I would accept that in uh, Kirby 64, because... Well, Kirby 64 is a little different on how you fight Wispy Woods. So, if you took damage there, whatever. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. So let's try to uh, focus down on one of them if we can. Um, I, I try to stay around these uh, middle platforms because, I don't know, it's, nice, it's easier to get out of the way if I have to get out of the way. Because otherwise you get trapped and you get hurt. And, unfortunately, you actually don't get back your life if you get hurt um, in between these in, in between the boss rush, uh stages. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I wanted to say there. Um, Jesus, come on, perfect. So, and there's not like healing items in between the stages, which can be pl problematic, but shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, so, let's quickly get through this. Is it down here I have to go? Yeah, it is, actually. <laughs> um, I thought... Crap, I'm gonna die. Um, okay, let's get over here. Maybe I can defeat this in one go and not get hit. Crap. We have more stage. Um, it's, it's worth noting that if you die in one of these boss stages, you actually go back to the boss room, and you have to do that the little stage over again. So... Just, just keep that in mind while playing these. Oh, crap. I was doing okay, too. Oh, well. At least it doesn't take too long to get back there. So let's hop back in and uh, do this level right. Because, well, I, I am done failing and I'm gonna... I gotta finish this. I got like nine minutes to finish this if I really want. Crap, Kirby, please. And spikes do three damage to you. Holy crap. That is a lot of damage. That's way more than I thought it was. I thought it was like two. Or maybe one. One, probably. One One seems reasonable because, well, it's, it's a Game Boy game. Okay, let's quickly get rid of this. If you hear if you hear some back row M noise, it's actually me rapidly tapping the Wiimote. Uh, just so I can shoot him as quickly as I can. Also, I cannot say how many times that move has got me where he just like dashes ahead. I got pretty lucky when I was, uh, versing him, like, not this time, but the prior time, where he just kept dashing in the way I was not. Is this a secret? No. <laughs> I shouldn't have guessed that was a secret two times in a row, because that would just be crazy. Also, falling like this makes me nervous, because I'm worried I'm just gonna, like, fall into a, uh, into a spike. However, let's defeat Cracker really quick. I should, hopefully I can do this with the, <laughs> with the little life that I have left. It shouldn't be too bad as long as I pay attention. Okay, do your thing, drop an enemy, jump over you, spit. Perfect, okay, four more times. That's all I have to do. Oh, oh. Okay, I got two. I don't think that does extra damage, but cool. Okay, two more times. Okay, I should be good. I should be good. Not not gonna get hit once, taking on Krakow. 
Almost spoke too soon. Almost spoke too soon. Come on. Perfect. Now we can move on to DDD. Okay, so while I did practice this game, I did not actually practice DDD. So this is my first time taking on DDD in several years. <laughs> so let's see what I can do. Okay, jump over him like that. I like how it's a boxing ring. I think that's really cool. I actually really like the, uh, the, uh, the remake of this level, or this, this game, essentially, in, a uh, Kirby Superstar, where, uh, like, there's a big crowd and everything. I think that's really cool, and it was a really nice touch. And uh, not, not to mention, it looks really good in color. <laughs> um... Just because Kirby and color really go well together. I don't think I'm actually going to beat him on this life. So I'm just going to die there. Um, I just didn't have enough life. I had two hits. Let's get real. Um, so let's try and beat DDD now. Um, I'm going to get out of here because, well, I don't think I had enough room to really <laughs> do anything there. Because I, I am I am confound to the uh, edges of the screen where he is not really. He, he can go off the edge of the screen, sort of. Perfect. Just fly over he here, don't mind me. Come on, jump up, jump up, do it. I, I, I dare you. Jump, jump me. Jump me! <laughs> oh. But yeah, I actually really like DV. Um, he was one of the characters that I was really excited for in the previous uh, Super Smash Brothers games. Oh, crap. Really? That made a very odd sound for what it did. Um, it made like the Warp Star sound. Maybe he just exhaled me that quickly? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. But yeah, I was actually really excited uh, to play as DDD in the uh, new newest Super Ma uh, su uh, la, la, la. Speak in the newest Smash Brothers game, which is uh, which is almost outdated now because the new one's coming out soon. Um, but yeah, I was really excited to play him. I, I unfortunately did not get very good at him. My main character in that actually became Yoshi of all characters, and I, I really enjoyed playing as Yoshi. Um, me and my friends actually used to get together and we. We would each play. We play each other for hours, and that was a lot of fun. One of my friends always played as Zero Suit Samus. My other friend played as Link, G generally Kid Link. I don't know if that makes a difference, but or Toon Link or whatever. Crap! I'm gonna die. I'm, I need to start paying attention. Um, yeah, he plays Toon Link, and I play as Yoshi. Um, my one friend, my friend who played as a. Uh, Toon Link, he was phenomenal. He could take on me and my other friend alone, and we were all pretty decent at the game, so it, it, he, he was quite difficult to beat, so it, like if you beat him, you, you were doing pretty good. And also, crap, why do I keep dying on DDD? Okay, this time for sure, because this is the third time, and you always get things on the third time. It's, it's, oh jeez, I almost fell right into him. Um, it's like it's like the Nintendo thing where you just had to hit the bosses three times. I have to I have to take on this boss three times in order to beat him. But I will actually say this music is phenomenal. This is a really really cool boss theme, and it, Kirby music is just really good. Um, I can't actually remember who uh, composes all the Kirby music, but whoever he is, he is oh genius. Um, Kirby music is just a lot of fun to listen to, and it's, it's, it's always really exciting, and it just gets you in a happy mood. Kirby's just a happy game, and I, I love Kirby for that, and <laughs> there's not too many other Nintendo titles I can say I'm always happy playing, because Donkey Kong games don't even get me started, they're like bane of my existence. Um, Mario games are fun, 3D Mario games are... are probably more fun than 2D Mario games in my opinion. Uh, I'm definitely better at the 3D than I am the 2D. I, I always, always grew up on the 2D and get I just get mad after a while. Um, crap. Yeah, that's like the warp sound or something. Um, uh, but yeah. And then, what else is there? Well, Pokemon. Pokemon is 
Pokemon's a whole nother can of worms. Don't even. I love Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon and Kirby um, are my two main Nintendo franchises more than anything else. Oh man, he, and he can jump and hammer at the same time. Did that hurt him? Yeah, I think it did. Okay. We have almost got him. He has three more hits left. Let's just try and get him. Oh, Jesus, he ran really far over that time. Um, can you please, like, jump or something? Jumping is the ideal. Oh, thank you. All I had to do was ask. Jumping's the ideal just because he's so easy to get the star off of. Hammer's okay, but sometimes he runs really far into the corner. And you have to get out of there and you don't ha really have an option. And just... But then when he's inhaling like that, you can't really... You can't really do anything and... Gah! Just... Let me... Let me kill you, DDD. Let me kill you. Almost done. Last hit. Coming up. Oh, is it going to be a hammer one too? Oh, it's totally going to be a hammer one. And just like that, we have defeated Kirby's Dream Land. And, well, the entire time I've been recording this, I'm just going to say right now, my timer right now, I haven't quit in between recording sessions just because of the game, um, is actually at 29.32. So I'm defeating this game in under like 29 minutes so i'm pretty proud i am pretty proud um could i have done better oh yeah i could have done way better um if i had actually played this game a little bit more before uh, <laughs> doing this i probably would have done way better but i i love this game this game i actually recently picked up a, like a perfect box copy of it and i i love it um I love Kirby games in general. Um, there's other Kirby games I do want to play for this channel, and I'll do them in the future when I have the means to. Uh, especially uh, Nightmare in Dreamland. I really want to play that game, but I have unfortunately lost my copy of it, and which is really sad because I love that game, and it's it's becoming increasingly difficult to find it, and like even like a newer copy, like at least where I live. So that that might. That, may game, that game may have to be held up for a little while. But, but yeah, that was Kirby. Thank you for playing. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to be playing more Kirby in the future. If not on my own time, on on this channel at the very least. I like how all the food falling from the skies. And Kirby is just, he's on his little soapbox. Bye bye. Oh, Kirby. Kirby's so cute. A little pink buzz ball. Oh, that's right. There's like new, like new, um, like game plus or whatever. Also, I love that DDD right there. He looks hilarious when his jaws like drop like that. Oh, all this is just hilarious. Why they had to add that in, I don't know. It's just for fun. But that's gonna be it for today. Um, I have been DJ Cinnamon Bun. This has been Kirby's Dreamland 2. How do I do this? Holy crap. Huh? Eh? Eh? I don't I don't even think I can actually do this. <laughs> um but this has been Kirby's Dreamland 2 and I hope to see you next time for my new project or more random game weekend. I'm sure there's going to be a couple coming up. So, I'll see you guys later.